Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this Type With Me, we will see how we can use React.js with Ink to build a CLI program. We will of course use TypeScript because that's why Type With Me is being created, right? And we will see how we can um, build some basic applications for our command line program. Let's do this. So, Ink, you found it on GitHub. This is the page and it's React for interactive command line applications, right? So, it's very active and uh, Gatsby.js will use um, Ink for their uh, command line interface application. So, this is something that we will uh, use towards this uh, tutorial. You will see this example. And you will see also what uh, is using ink. So emoji, Emma, here you see Gatsby CLI, for example. So something that you really need to take into or see how it works. So let's do this, right? So first of all, I created um, React um, basic application with uh, TypeScript. I did this with MPX. T S T X create and then timer. So I have a video about T S D X. So you can check that out. Uh, it's awesome to create uh, projects from scratch. Great. So we're gonna remove this and we're gonna enter this right. What we need to do is, for example, import as React. And now we can very easily use React. Great. Basically, this is just printing out Hello World into our console. But for that, we are going to do yarn run build. This will build our application and you will uh, generate our index.js file here. So you will see here we have our index.js file. So now we can do node tests slash index.js. And we'll see a hello world. It's very basic, I know, but it's cool. So imagine that we want to create some course around it. Well, you have something here like core and then we can have a tag here color green and we can put world here right so basically uh, you can't use diffs right because we are writing something for uh, the console um, ink is using the yoga layout under the hood to create some kind of flex based uh, uh, layout. And we have some tags like box, which is the equivalent of uh, a diff. And we have the color tag where we can put some colorization on top of it. And you have some other tags that you really need to check out if you want to go with ink. So now let's build this. And let's execute this. We have hello and world is green. Yay. So next thing I want to do is to interact with node. So I do that with yarn add add types slash node. This will add our node types towards our to our project. Great. Now here we can add following lines type roots towards our add types, right? It's not available with uh, our 
basic setup or React TypeScript application, so we need to add it. So now, of course, we need to remove this code and add some other code. And I'm going to go to the top. Here you see some imports for React and Ink. Then we extend a counter so that it's a React component, right? We have two properties, timer and state. Here we have our state objects, which has a Y uh, property, which is just our count. Then here we have our this dot state Y. We can, for example, change this to blue. So we have a blue color, right? Um, and then we have our component did mount where we have our timer and that timer will every time, every hundred milliseconds increase our uh, Y uh, property of our state with one. And then we have our clear interval when we uh, destroy our component within React. And then of course we render our counter components. So when we do yarn run build, we build our index.tsx, right? Great. And now we can do node this slash index.js. And hey, we have blue cord text and we have or number that gets increased with 100 milliseconds. And that's awesome, right? So when we stop our project or uh, our application, also our components will amount will be fired and we have our clear interval this dot timer. I found it a really nice uh, tool. It's great if you have React uh, knowledge and you want to build command line applications for the terminal. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.